I worked with the first president of this country, Tata Onitlata Mandela, uh, not just in parliament. You would remember that I was the chairperson of the negotiating forum in Codesa during those days when we negotiated the transition from the apartheid government into the democratic government. It was a very heavy job. He was leading the team of negotiations at the World Center. He's a tough negotiator. But also in his toughness as a negotiator, he understood that building South Africa cannot be the work of one person. It could be the work of all stakeholders. Hence, at the World Trade Center, the negotiation, Tata Mandela gathered everybody who was concerned with the future of this country. It doesn't matter who it was. The important thing was to agree, find a peaceful settlement, and not fighting and not spilling the blood, but decide what should this country look like, how should this country look like, what should it be, what is it that we want. And hence we came with an interim constitution and we decided on the day, 27th April, to go and vote in 1994. I, was, I remember I was chairing that day when that date was decided. So I remember him also when I worked with him in Parliament. He would also take us all through in all his speeches and guide us. He taught us how to be a peaceful person in this world, not to fight, to be calm, to be cool, particularly when you talk about issues that matters for the people. And he taught us also good leadership style, that when you deal with people, you've got to be up to your senses all the time. And you've got to consult, 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 until you reach consensus. Consensus in his mind was a very important issue. Because if you take people in one decision, although a few may not be satisfied, but when you get the majority to agree, then you know ultimately you're going to find a peaceful solution. I remember him also lastly, just lastly, by the way uh, he respected people. Uh, he was a president of the country, the president of the African National Congress, but it didn't matter whether you were a child, you were the president of the other country, you were an old person, he would give you the same respect always humble, always loving. I remember him always saying one great thing, good to see you.